for all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 53 of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One and today is all or nothing. It's the last two Barclays Premier League fixtures of the season and we need maximum points to ensure Champions League football or even just to be within a chance of Champions League football. We are on a really, really poor run right now. Nine games without a win in all competitions. As you can see, we've dropped from top of the table down to sixth. It's been such a wretched run since we lost to Arsenal 3-1. Uh, we picked up our last victory against Leicester and that was a long, long time ago, so it feels. We've got off to a fantastic start here. Quadro Asamoa scores a wonder goal in the 8th minute and that really settled my nerves a little bit. We've gone behind early on in the past 2 or 3 games and I've really been up against it. But to get ourselves in front this time and have that bit of breathing space really did settle my nerves to, uh, to kind of get settled into the game and uh, push on and try and get ourselves a decent win from this one. And Asamoa is going to come close to picking up his and our second just a few minutes later unfortunately hitting the outside of the left hand post there great strike great run great strength in fact to uh, to shove the defender off but uh, Fernando Torres is going to play a lovely slight through ball here to Thomas Callas of all players the young right back breaks free scores his first goal for the club and it could not have been more crucial giving us a two goal window early on in this uh, in this first half against uh, Reading Reading were a decent side they gave us a bit of a, a bit of a tough game when we had to travel to the Medeski early on in the season but uh, they really just had no answers for me here today. 3-0 just a couple of minutes later. Two rapid goals and uh, we give ourselves a big solid cushion. And I was happy at that point to, uh, to kind of run out the rest of the game and uh, you know make sure that we got the three points. But things weren't necessarily going to go according to plan because of course recently we have been in some dodgy form especially defensively and uh, they're going to stand the ball up here and that's how it's actually Murillo that goes up with a wonderful header. Honestly, the amount of power behind that header I the uh, the controller vibrated so hard when the ball battered back down off the uh, off the crossbar. Uh, it was really impressive header. And into the second half, they actually kind of made my nerves a little bit worse because they're going to get themselves a second goal here. Another rebound goal. We've had a lot of those recently. Unfortunately, coming back off the post straight to a beat of the uh, the following running up strike in fact it may even have been McCleary on the on the follow up. A beat may have been the uh, the player to have the initial effort, but that brought it back to three two. And the nerves were back, and I was really concerned that we were actually going to find ourselves losing more points. Oscar came oh so very close to uh, to giving us a two-goal margin back again. Unfortunately, on the hour mark, he did rifle that one just wide, but we were able to hold out, and uh, we pick up three points, three invaluable points. So the table looks like this, heading into the final round of fixtures. We're still sixth, but we're only three points off Liverpool in second. Everybody above us, apart from Arsenal, is there for the taking. So if we can pick up a win in our final game, we stand a decent chance of getting that Champions League spot. And of course, the final game is Liverpool away, a team we can draw level on points with should we win. Now, their goal difference is superior to us by about eight, I think. But if we can get a 4-0 win, that would actually put us up above them and into the European spots regardless of any other results. Let's have a look. Goal difference. Theirs is plus 26. Mine is plus 18. So if we'd won... What's the difference there? 8. If we'd, yeah, if we'd won 4-0, then we would have gone above Liverpool. So what can we do in this game? Andre Scherler breaking down the right-hand side. Steps inside one. Has a decent shot. It's well saved. A rebound for us this time. Marco Ruiz. We're off the mark early again. Second game in a row after, uh, after getting ourselves really off the mark well against Reading and settling my nerves. We did just the same here against Liverpool and I was determined this time not to let the lead slip and I'm going to put Marco Royce on this free kick because he does have better stats than, uh, than Eden Hazard and it's a really nice free kick up and dipping but uh, unfortunately Simon Mignolet is able to get across a leaping left-handed save gets the ball out for a corner but it's going to come in from Andre Shirley he's going to try and stand it up Lars Bender of all players is going to go up win the header but unfortunately it goes over the bar isn't able to trouble the Belgian for a second time in short succession but we were going to get yet another chance just before half-time. Lewis Muriel really showing his pace stands out there. And uh, unfortunately, after leaving John Flanagan for dead, Mur not Muriel, Mignolet was again out to thwart him. And unfortunately, we stay at 1-0. We're into first half stoppage time now. The first header from the uh, from the set piece is cleared well. But they get the ball back in. Lewis Enrique on the edge of the box. Plays through Suso, who absolutely schools me with David Luiz with, a, with an inverted step over. Then a ball roll and smashes the ball across Petacek into the bottom corner. Was disappointed 
disappointed that Tech was beaten there in such fashion, but there was a lot of power behind that shot, so perhaps I can let him off. But uh, 47th minute, as you can see, 45 plus 2, we're back on level terms. We need a win. We just need a win. It really is the only way that we can get ourselves European football next season. Luis Muriel races away. Again, his pace stands out. And this time, Mignolet doesn't come to meet him. And Muriel makes him pay. Beating him at his near post. 49th minute, literally just after the break. Fantastic start. So Liverpool made a couple of changes at attacking changes really stating their intent for the rest of the game Coutinho and Danny coming on so I made a change of my own another attacking change if they're going to try and get a goal I want to try and improve the other uh, situation so Oscar and William came on the two Brazilians to replace the two Germans Andre Scherler and uh, and Marco Royce and they were actually going to have a chance of their own here Danny's going to play in and Nelson Oliveira back to Coutinho the two substitutes involved Oh, that was so close to bringing them back on level terms in the 80th minute. Fantastic strike from Coutinho, but it was time for my two substitutes to get involved. Oscar to Willian is going to receive the ball back again after uh, Danilo plays him in down the right-hand side. Another ball over the top, looking for Willian again. He's going to get the ball. Nice control. Turn inside Martin Scale. Can he finish? He can. A two-goal lead with five minutes left. That is exactly what we needed. And Oscar and Willian had the perfect impact on this game. That's exactly what I needed from them at that particular moment of the season. They're involved again here. Willian playing Oscar through this time. A reverse ball to what happened before. Oscar gets away. Unfortunately, cannot extend that lead to 4-1 and improve our goal difference. But we do get the three points. So what happened to Man United? What happened to Spurs? What happened to Manchester City? Have we finished inside the top four? Our, uh, our transfer budget has been improved by 9 9.9 million but what does that mean where have we come in the league to give us that sort of boost the uh, the board are giving me some sort of re reassurance that uh, they're pleased with me being the man at the uh, at the helm of the club but let's check the league table whereabouts have we come as you probably can tell already as it flashes up on your screen we've snuck into the champions league spurs and manchester city both lose on the final day and we jump up into fourth we do have champions league football for the next season when we return to this Chelsea career mode in a few weeks time or a few months time perhaps but that is going to bring this particular episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching we will have a season roundup video for you tomorrow on Friday and then keep voting for your next choice of career mode series the uh, the the link to uh, to the vote will be in the description as it has been on every video this week. I'll stop the vote tomorrow night, Friday evening, and then start recording for the new series over the weekend so that Monday we have a brand new career mode series for you. But that's all for today, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. There will be an annotation on screen over that little snippet of gameplay there to take you to Tuesday's video if you missed it. And, of course, to, uh, to subscribe as well if you haven't already because we're pushing 6,000 subscribers right now and it would be fantastic if we could hit that before the start of the new career mode but thank you very much for watching as always guys and i will see you tomorrow with a season roundup